Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another review. And today, I have the Stream Deck from Elgato. This is an incredibly cool product that will greatly simplify your life, especially if you're an online gamer or you're doing any kind of online streaming, or if you're a lazy guy like me who just likes to have a button I can push to have my computer do a bunch of complicated things, this is the product for you. And to be honest, I didn't know I needed this product until I bought it, and now I can't live without it. So before I get too deep into the review of the product and what makes it so special, I thought I'd start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and that way you understand exactly what you get if you buy the product. And then I'll spend a few minutes and explain the magic that this product can do. It really is a kind of a special product that's really flexible, so you can use it for online gaming, for shortcuts on your keyboard just by hitting a button. You can build in macros, you can build in nested folders where you push a button and a bunch of things happen. You can also use it in a really simple way to just plug in a bunch of websites and hit a button and have the website come up. So if you're one of those people that can't remember website URLs that you visit all the time, set it up as your website guide. It'll fix it for you there. But anyway, let's get into the unboxing. So when you pop open the box, there's not a lot inside. It's a really simple product to use. You'll find the Stream Deck. You'll also find a really nice stand you can use to snap the Stream Deck into to give you different angles on the buttons. Now, you don't need to use that. The bottom of the unit's got four rubber feet on it, which keeps it firmly in place on the desk. Because remember, you're going to be stabbing buttons here, and you don't want it sort of skidding across the desk on you. But using the stand gives you a little better view of what's going on. And it's a really clever stand. It actually folds down flat, so you can take it with you if you throw this in your computer bag. But the back swings out like this, and then you can set this up at a bunch of different angles. So you can have it really tall like that, which is the way I like it, or you can have it a lot lower like that. So depending on what you need, you can set that up. Also included is a warranty guide, which explains exactly how to use it and some safety precautions around it. It's a really resilient product. I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Just keep it dry, don't spill anything in it, and you'll be perfectly fine. And there's a quick start guide, because this works in conjunction with their software, and it's so simple to use. There's drag and drop software, which allows you to program each of the 15 buttons on the front. Now this is the smaller version. They make a larger version, which has a whole lot more buttons, which I'm actually invested in because I got a lot of things I want to do. But the software is incredibly smart. And what's cool about it is when you use the software to actually program one of the buttons, you can design the graphics. And behind these buttons are 15 LCD displays that are high resolution, so you can actually see a little icon with text on it to tell you what each of the buttons do. And you can change those on the fly. Now the best part about it is, if you're using it in conjunction with streaming software, any kind of streaming software out there, if you're using OBS or some of the other streaming platforms, this immediately integrates with that software. So there's nothing complicated about it. You install the application, you decide what the buttons are gonna do. If you have OBS, the minute you install an OBS button, it looks for OBS on your computer, it'll find it, and it'll integrate with OBS. You can also use it to launch websites like I'd mentioned. I know that seems really simple, but there's a couple of websites I go to a few times a week, and I'm a lazy guy, I don't like typing in the address, so I program one of the buttons to be those websites. I hit the button, it takes me right to the website, and I'm ready to rock and roll. You can also use it to launch music if you want. You can use it to run uh, introductions if you're going to be streaming. You know, maybe you are be here in two minutes or starting the stream now. So you can build all kinds of graphics in there that really simplify your life. Because if you're online and you're doing any kind of gaming or streaming, there's a lot of behavior that you want to integrate into your stream. A lot of creative things about, you know, subscribers and saying hi to this guy or giving out awards. All of these buttons can be programmed to bring those graphics up or instigate those behaviors during your stream. So it plugs into your computer. It's got a standard USB-A connection on it right here. And that's it. There's no external power required or anything. All the power to run the deck comes through that USB-A port. So when you get this product, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Elgato website, download the software for it, install the software in your computer, and then it's a drag and drop from there. A lot of the icons, they've already got set up for you. You can drag them over to whatever button you want, and you can program them, and then there's specifics in there about if you're programming it for a website, you put in the website URL and that's it. You can label the button in that software. So they've really made it incredibly simple. And again, it's a product that you wouldn't think to buy yourself, but when you think about all the time you spend in front of a computer in an afternoon, even if you're not streaming, this can greatly simplify your day because the common things you're going to do in that computer, you can program these buttons for, and then it's on my desk. And if I'm having my cup of coffee and I need to go to a website, I hit a button and it brings it up. Or if I want to play some music, it'll bring up a song. Or if I'm streaming, I reserve some of these buttons for when I'm streaming. I can instigate things in OBS. I can bring up graphics. I can bring up sound effects. I can play clips. I can do all kinds of manipulative things with that stream just by using this. And before I got this, I had a lot of shortcuts on my keyboard that I had to remember. I actually had a little cheat sheet up to my computer, taped to my computer, that said, okay, that's the shortcut for that. So instead of paying attention to the stream, 
I'm looking at that little cheat sheet trying to figure out what the keyboard shortcut is. It just takes my mind out of the game. So by having this, it's on its little stand. If I need to bring up a graphic, I hit a button, boop, the graphic comes up. I want to have a sound effect, bing. Maybe I've got a applause program, bing. Everybody's clapping. So it just makes it a lot simpler to, to have your stream, have a lot of fun in your stream, and not take you out of the mentality of paying attention to the people that are watching your stream. I think it's a wonderful product. And Elgato's done a great job, too, of integrating this with the software, because one of the other challenges with some of the other decks that are out there is that the integration between what that external peripheral does and the actual software you're using can be very, very complicated to get this to work with OBS, to get it working with other streaming software or other audio boards and things like that. These guys have taken the time to realize that most people that are playing games online or most people that are streaming online are using a certain set of software. And there's a wide variety of packages out there, but they've already in integrated this product with those software packages. So it's smart enough through the software to know that if I'm using OBS, it'll find it on my computer, it'll immediately integrate it. So when I drag over a button that says start recording, it starts the recording in OBS. So it's it's drop dead simple to use. It's really well built. I mean, it's got a metal cabinet. I guess the bottom is heavy plastic, but the top is certainly either heavy plastic or metal. It's very, very durable. And the buttons have a really nice tactile feel. So it's not like you hit them and you go, gee, did I hit the button? No, when you tap that button, you know you hit the button. I also love the fact that the buttons have graphics on them, which are easy to identify, but with the websites, I can actually put the name of the website on there so I can hit a button and know I'm going to Amazon or know I'm going to wherever, Microsoft or whatever. So for me, it's not a very expensive product, but as I said at the beginning, I didn't know I need it until I got it, and now I won't let it go. I really, it's on my desk, and it's one of the main things I'm tapping every day when I'm working on the computer or I'm doing my streaming. So hopefully you found this review helpful. I think it's a great product. I think they built a quality product here that a lot of people I know use it. I've been using it for quite a while, and I can certainly recommend it. So thanks an awful lot for watching. And until next time, as always, <laughs> stay nerdy.